I am here eating Taiyaki, some fish ice cream with red beans inside in this giant Korean uh, grocery. Korean town. <laughs> Korean town. Because Dana brought me here, he knows all the Korean stuff, apparently. Yes, this is um, your favorite place to go to? The shop there? Not favorite, it's just one of the biggest ones in Melbourne, so um, it's a lot cheaper as well. Really? It's a lot cheaper. I've been traveling around to like different Asian grocers in the past few weeks. This one is really big, guys, like Korean food everywhere, especially my favorite, Hayaki. It's a lot, ice cream. It's a lot of um, Japanese and Korean, mm. and sometimes Chinese. So many Korean biscuits I have never heard of. I don't really like rice crackers, to be honest. This one is so good. Really? Yes. Pocky? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, and this barrel. Barrel, of course. Low calorie meal replacement. So it's like healthy noodles, but I don't know, it looks so it's deceiving. Like a, it's a diet. Oh my god. I don't think it'll taste good. Oh, maybe with cognac. Cognac. Oh. Deceiving. Deceiving noodles. It won't taste good, I think. Why is that girl crying <laughs> over the topoki? It's a very old thing. And why is he sweating? <laughs> if you want to make your own wasabi, you have wasabi powder. Oh. Look at it. You can have sushi at home every day. Rice. Rice. This one's 10 kg. <laughs> a 10 kilo box of kimchi. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And over here we have different varieties of kimchi. Yes. Different types. So like from up here to down here, it's all different. <laughs> Is this like everyone's dream in Korea to have a kimchi fridge? Or do they have that already? I mean, <laughs> in Korea you find everyone has kimchi fridge. <laughs> well, in Australia it's really hard because it's really smelly and stuff and it's really hard to clean up. So, mm. and, and not many places sell like kimchi fridge, so they don't, they don't sell it here. Alright. Oh, in the future, I'm gonna have a kimchi fridge. Yeah, that's actually... Full of kimchi. Oh. This fridge is dedicated just for the radish. Uh, but yeah. question, why are they yellow? Um, so this one's used for um, Korean kimbap, not sushi, right? There's a, there's a difference. Um, so it's it's yellow because of um, color food coloring. Food coloring, but I'm really impressed. A fridge dedicated just for radish. Yeah. Wait, so these are pre-made Korean, pre-made pre traditional Korean side side dishes. Wow. They're really hard to get and they're very expensive. So if I'm lazy, I can just get all these um, pre-made yeah, dishes yeah, yeah, yeah. and they taste like the real one. Yeah. Like kimchi here, mm -hmm. just like almond, almond anchovy. Yeah. There's like um, seaweed, there's like lotus root. Mm. I am really triggered by all these Korean food guys. Like there's so much Korean things happening on here in this market. KT, KT market. So basically we are in Korea, this whole place. This one. Everything is Korean. This one's a soy sauce is just for soup. Yep. This one's for dipping. Yep. And we have this one, our old traditional one. It's yep. just like, like really, really traditional. Right. Tiny Sierra. <laughs> there are just too many sauces, guys, like everywhere. You know, Korean products. I'm so like, you know, intrigued. So you guys, what do we have over here? So this is what you get if you make a Korean fried chicken. So this is what you use for Korean fried chicken. Better for the crispy fried skin. Mm. And then... And Korean yeah. pancake. That one's just like regular pancake mix. Yeah. This is the Korean style oh, yeah. pancake mix. Oh, this is the actual Korean like pancake with savory yeah. stuff. Yeah. This is like Western seafood. pancakes. So you make seafood and kimchi pancakes like everyone, what everyone likes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I like this though. <laughs> Western pancakes. Yeah, Western. Daniel, what is this? This is silk silkworm paper. So it's basically silkworm. Oh my god, so this is silkworm? Yeah. Oh, uh, in a can? Yes, in a can. Have you tried this before? Is yes. it good? Some people like it, some people don't like it. So I know I wouldn't. <laughs> boiled under like a really like, just hot water. Yeah. And, they, they, and then once they're boiled, it turns like, like brownish. Yeah. So when you try it, it's a lot of like savory flavor. 
but a lot of people don't like it because of the texture. Oh my god! Because it's it, once you chew it, it's it's very much like a bug. Eating bugs from a can. Oh, exciting! Uh, <laughs> exciting. Not not looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> not excited, guys. We're not we're not here to eat bugs. I think this one's sea snails. Sea snails? Sea snails. Between these two, which will you guys eat? Sea snail in a can or sweet worm pupa <laughs> from the can? Very hard question, but they're both equally disgusting. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay guys, so this is what I've been growing up eating with. The three minute instant um, everything. So we have three minute instant um, soup, instant um, seaweed soup, yeah. Um, Three minute steak. <laughs> three minute steak? Three minute steak. Oh my god. Three minute meatballs. <laughs> oh my god, like, is this a whole section of just yeah, instant it, food? Yeah. So three minute teriyaki chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> three minute of barbecue chicken. Oh my god. And then there's like three minute curries as well. So like all of the same brand. But everything is three minutes. Yeah, yeah, so guys, you minutes. can get three minute steak. I can't imagine eating this three minute steak, three minute meatballs. Is this your life growing up? Three minutes. It's my childhood. Your childhood. Is it good though? It's really the problem good. is I don't make Korean food or Asian food that often, so when I buy all these groceries, I don't use them that often and then it spoils so fast. So it's a waste of money for me to buy Asian stuff, actually. Korean barbecues over there. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you want to buy like Korean food, you should why, come to this place called KT Market. Rice. 